Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Hope you're having yourself a wonderful day. In today's video, we'll be reacting to 10 surprising facts about uh, Bangladesh. This video was suggested by uh, Safin Rahman. Thank you very much for taking the time to send me your recommendation and suggestion. For those of you who are new and who happen to come across this channel and this video for the first time, I'd like to take a moment and welcome you guys to the channel. I upload videos every day, so if you guys like the content as well as the channel and want to be part of this journey, then please consider subscribing to the channel and turning notification on so you're notified when new videos uploaded. Stay tuned, guys. We'll be right back. back guys we're gonna get started with the uh, video momentarily and at the end of the video i'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction so please make sure you stay until the end and with that said let's get started with our video This is part three in our 10 surprising facts about Bangladesh video series and I'm very excited to be bringing you more facts about this beautiful country. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Leroy Kenton and welcome back to another episode of FTD Facts. Now if you're watching this from Bangladesh, give this video a big thumbs up or if you just want to show Bangladesh some love, boom, thumbs up. Alright guys, let's not waste any more time, let's just jump straight into the facts starting at number 10. Bangladesh is home to the world's largest mangrove forest and that is the Sundarbans. This mangrove forest is also protected as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It covers an area of 139,500 hectares which is 539 square miles and it's home to a vast number of different species. Also about 90% of the population of Bangladesh is Muslim. Yeah, did you know that Bangladesh is the fourth largest Muslim country in the entire world? Only Indonesia and Pakistan and India have more Muslims living within its borders. With 88.3% of the population following the faith of Islam to be exact, you'll find that 96% of the Bangladeshi Muslims are Sunni and over 3% are Shia and 1% follow the Ahmadiyya school of thought. Hinduism is the largest minority religion in Bangladesh at 10.5% of the population and there's also smaller minorities like less than 1% of people who identify as Christian as well as Buddhist and animists. Now you just might get hungry with this fact. This Hilsa fish curry is the national dish of Bangladesh. So like if you travel to Bangladesh make sure you try some of this fish curry. Like I've read reviews about it. People absolutely love it. Hilsa is a species of fish that is related to the herring family and it's a very popular food over in Bangladesh. Of course it's a national dish. Now for the currency you in Bangladesh, it's called the Taka, which means currency in the Bengali language. The currency code for Takas is BDT and the currency symbol is TK. Currently at the time of filming this episode, one Bangladeshi Taka equals 0.012 US dollars. Bangladesh also has a lack of rock to use in construction. So therefore you're going to notice that there are hundreds of brick kilns with massive chimneys scattered all over the country. Now once the bricks are fired, they break them into rocks using an aggregate for construction. Just a little interesting fact if you were curious about construction in Bangladesh. Now the next thing I want to share is Bangladesh has its own share of famous people. So check it out. There's a lot of famous people who were born in Bangladesh such as Dr. Muhammad Yunus who is a Nobel Peace Prize winner. He received the award for developing the concept of microcredit as well as microfinance. Then there's Jawed Karim, who's a co-founder of the famous video uploading website, YouTube, which you're watching this video on right now. So we here at FTD Facts definitely got to give a big shout out to the people of Bangladesh. Y'all produced one of the guys that helped create this platform. Also, Jawed Karim uploaded the very first YouTube video. Then there's Salman Khan, who's the founder of the largest internet school, the Khan Academy. So not the Bollywood actor, by the way. Khan Academy is a non-profit online academy that has educated over 10 million students. But I'll just stop there for now. We got some more facts to get to. Bangladesh is home to the world's largest river delta and the world's largest mangrove. Now the largest delta is the Ganges Brahmaputra Delta and it spans most of Bangladesh as well as West Bengal, India. And it empties into the Bay of Bengal. And for the largest mangrove, that is the Sundarbans, it lies on the delta of the Ganges. Now the Brahmaputra and the Meghna rivers on the Bay of 
Bengal. It lies on the delta of the Ganges, Brahmaputra and Meghna rivers off the Bay of Bengal and it's adjacent to the border of India's Sundarbans World Heritage Site. The area is known for its wide range of fauna including 260 bird species and the Bengali tiger as well as some other threatened species. Now the area that is now Bangladesh has been settled for many thousands of years. There have been a series of dynasties that have ruled the area including the Buddhist Pala dynasty and the Hindu Sina dynasty. Now by the 12th century Arab merchants had come to Bengal and the religion of Islam began to spread. And by the time you get to the 16th century the Mughal Empire took control of Bengal and the city of Dhaka became the important center for the Mughal administration. Okay, Only two more facts left. The next one deals with the national flower of Bangladesh and that is the white flowered water lily aka the Shapla. So the water lily is found in every part of Bangladesh and it's special because when it blooms no dirt comes on it or on its leaves and the Bangladeshi people honor it as a symbol of purity of the soul. So shortly after the liberation of Bangladesh the then government selected the water lily as the national flower of Bangladesh and you can find it also in the center of the emblem of Bangladesh. And the last thing I want to share with you is did you know that Bangladesh also has three UNESCO World Heritage Sites? And those are the Bagarat, the Sandarbins, I think I mentioned that a bit earlier, then the Sampur Mahabihara. Starting with the Bagarat, this is a medieval Muslim city where you will find the 60 dome mosque. I mentioned that the Sandarbins, by the way, was the largest mangrove, but it's also a world heritage site. Just wanted to throw that in to make you know how important that site actually is. And then we have the Sampur Mahabihara. This is a Buddhist monastery that was built in the 8th century and also it's the largest of its kind in the Himalayas. Okay, so just like that we this episode. Wow guys, Mushal, that was really really interesting. A couple of things that um, I didn't know was uh, that the co-founder of YouTube is a brother from uh, Bangladesh and as well as Khan Academy, the founder. His name is Salman Khan. I actually didn't know what his first name was. So Salman Khan, he's also from Bangladesh. So SubhanAllah, I used to use Khan Academy so much uh, when I used to go to school because I had some instructors that, for example, their teaching style was a little different. So it was hard to grasp uh, the um, theory or understand the, the concepts. And Khan Academy, SubhanAllah, made it so much easier because they, was, they used to explain things different. Uh, and make it uh, much easier with the visualization. It's a free, free prat, uh, platform. Uh, so if you haven't uh, checked it out, check out Khan Academy. They have everything from finance to math to science, geography, physics, everything. Um, they have videos and it's all free. You can just log in there and basically access it and, and learn, uh, which is really, really cool nowadays. So if you wanna learn anything, check them out. And overall, it was really, really interesting to find out more about uh, Bangladesh. We found about the dish, which was a, a seafood or a fish dish, and the national uh, flower, which was pretty cool, like a lily. He said water lily, and it doesn't get dirty because the dirt doesn't stay on the leaf or on the pe petals of the flower, which is really, really nice. So guys, it was really, really interesting. I enjoyed it. Uh, thank you very much for uh, suggesting it. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want me to react to another video, please put in the comment section below. As always, thank you very much guys for all your love and uh, support. Shukriya, thank you. I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and your family. And inshallah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and what's today.